Welcome back. Problem eight. All right, problem eight. Uh, this is back to uh, Gauss's law. So find the net electric flux through the spherical closed surface shown below in the figure. Two charges on the right are inside the spherical surface. Okay, that's good. Uh, Q1 is this, Q2 is that, and Q3 is this. All right, so we want to know the flux. So the definition of electric flux is Q enclosed over epsilon naught, which equals, let's see, surface integral of E dot dA. Okay, so we want to find the flux, which is this guy, and we can use either one of these two formulas over here. I am going to use the first formula. So the idea here is Q enclosed is going to be T Q2 and Q3. Q1 will have zero impact on the flux because flux is directional. So for every electric field that comes in, it's also going to leave as well. Um, but for a Q2, it's only going to leave it's going to go out to the world, Q3, I think it's negative, uh, flux, or electric fields are only going to come in. Okay? So kill those guys, die. So first we need to find out what Q enclosed is. Q enclosed is Q2 plus Q3. So we have 1.05, and then we have minus 325 so even though it's negative up there, I'm going to subtract the smaller number from the bigger number and then take the opposite. One of those tricks you learn in grade school. So it's going to be negative 2.2. Is that true? Yes, I'm going to say that's true. Totally true. All right, so then negative 2.2 flux equals divided by epsilon naught, which is 8.85 times 10 to the negative 12th. Should really check that. Really should check that. Hmm. So epsilon naught is going to be related to Coulomb's law because that constant is related to Coulomb's constant. Coulomb's constant is one over four pi epsilon naught, right there. So that's the epsilon naught I want. Where Electric permittivity, there we go. Click on this, wait a sec, it just said it right there. 8.85 times 10 to negative 12. So check, correct, true. All right, so that's all there is. I'm gonna, uh, and these are nanocoulombs, so we're gonna do 10 to the negative ninth. So this is gonna, so this is gonna be like 10 to the 12th on the top. Add these together and we're gonna get 10 to the third. Hmm, I can write that guy better. 10 to, oh man, that's worse, that's worse. The one part of the problem that doesn't matter, and I put the most effort into it. All right, 2.2 divided by 8.85. 2.2 divided by 8.85. We get 0.249. So it equals 0.249 times 10 to the third, which equals 2.49 times 10 squared. And it's negative. Which makes sense it's gonna be negative because the Q3 is bigger than Q2. And that's probably gonna be uh, whatever electric fields are. It's like Newtons per Coulomb per meter squared. Newtons meter squared per Coulomb. 2.49 times 10 squared. Bam. And that's all that problem is. Um, yep. Key here is these two matter. They're Q enclosed. Q1 is not because it is not enclosed. All right. On to number nine.